Welcome back friends. In the last video, we have seen how to write a JNU test cases, how to write a simple JNU test cases, right? Now, um, uh, part of this video, we are going to uh, write some advanced JNU test cases, that is uh, how the people are um, uh, write the test cases in 10 years back, 10 years back. For example, let's say, um, I want to uh, uh, test my uh, business logic. I have written some business logic. I want to test uh, test the business logic, but the business logic code tightly coupled with tightly coupled with uh, my database. Without a DB connection, my that business logic never work. But I want to test only business logic without connecting the DB. Okay, how do we achieve this? But today we have a lot of testing framework like uh, Marketo, WebVMEC. Okay, using those framework, right? We can bypass them uh, DB connection without a DB connection, without depending on the DB layer. We can test particular piece of code. But ten years back, that is not the case because we don't have such a framework. We don't have a um, uh, Marketo and uh, PowerMark like that framework. We have to do everything manually. Um, at that time, how the people achieved this kind of uh, scenario, that part we are going to cover, okay? See, this is my product controller class. This product controller class depends on product service, okay? Now, uh, when you go to the product service, the product service having a uh, one uh, a class called product DAO, say interface, so it's a product DAO. This product DAO, I am injecting in product service constructor. Okay, product service constructor. Then I have a product get product by ID. This is a method. This method connect to the database using product DAO class. When you go, when you see the implementation of this class, product DAO IMPL implements product DAO. Here I auto wire entity manager. This is to, through this entity manager, I am connecting. Uh, database through this entity manager I'm connecting database at the bottom of uh, product ID I'm passing in this method that will return uh, corresponding product. I'm achieving that using entity manager dot find. I am passing product dot class then product ID. Now for this product ID, if you find the row in the database, that product data map row to my product class. Okay, so this is a simple method fetching the products by providing a product ID. This particular class I am calling in a product service. So here I am connecting, uh, here I am calling the product viewer dot get product ID. So this method highly depends on this particular class, this particular product viewer. Without product viewer, we cannot perform this business logic. We cannot perform this business logic. But somehow I want to test only this business logic. I want to bypass DB connection. I want to bypass DB connection. Okay. So Using Marketo, we can implement this scenario very easily, but without Marketo, how to do that? That is the question here. We are going to implement that part now. Okay, now I will go to uh, uh, show the demo the real scenario. It, that meaning it will connect the DB and fetch the DB, fetch the data. Okay. Let me open what MySQL workbench. Manual start the server. It's connecting which database? It's connecting to user underscore db. Okay, I'm connecting to user underscore db. Where is it? Here is a user underscore db. There is a one table called product table. When I uh, select row, it has two rows, right? It has two rows. Okay. Um, so we started, I think. So I already started. Now I want to um, call this particular um, endpoint. I want to call this particular endpoint. Okay. For that, we have to open a browser. For that, for that, open a browser. HTTP colon localhost a zero a zero slash API slash products. Then we have to pop the product ID one. I think uh, it's a uh, port is nine zero nine one. Nine zero nine one. So we have to give a right port nine zero nine one.
एपी फ्लैश प्रोडक्ट्स फ्लो Now I want to make this loss of uh, fake uh, while testing. I want to test my service class now. While uh, testing service class, I don't want to connect data base. I want to create some fake object through that object. I want to verify my business logic working or not. What is the business logic here? The business logic is uh, uh, the price is three hundred. For that per price, I want to calculate the GST amount. I want to calculate the GST amount. That is the business implementation. Okay. Uh, when you look at here. Um, Um, I am from once you get the product the product data. I am taking the price for that price. I am calculating GST for ten percentage. Ten percentage, okay. For ten percentage, these uh, give the tax of the uh, given uh, given price. Then I am adding that price plus tax. I am saying that that is a total price. That is a total price. Okay. So the product object I am setting a total price. Then I am setting a tax for that particular price. Okay. That is the output we are uh, getting here. The tax and total price calculated by here, calculated by here, and then returning that data part of product object. I want to test this particular functionality working or not properly while doing a JNU test cases without connecting this particular DB. Okay. In the test folder, you can see I have created one class called product service test. Okay. This product service test. Having a method called get product by ID. This get pro product by ID annotated with a test annotation. So this method acts as a test case method. We can implement our test cases here. My my intention is I want to test this business scenario, this this particular business implementation um, logic. I want to test without connecting, without depending on my database. Okay, that is my intention. So let's see how to do that. Now I'm going to uh, initialize my product service. Product service. Then the product service expecting a on a argument called product DAO. That is highly depend on product service. Highly depend on product DAO. So we have to pass this product DAO. So I'm I, I'm initializing the product DAO also. Product Now I'm passing this product DAO in my product service constructor. Okay, then product service dot. I'm calling get product by ID. I'm passing some dummy product ID here. It's a long so I need to say L. Product then product. Now I want to check this particular product, product is null or not. Okay, for that I need to use assertion. Assertion dot assert not null product. If this product is not null, I am considering this product, this test case as a pass. Let me run this test case. So now it's a test case is failure. It's a null point exception. What is null point exception? When you go to product DAO IMPL, the entity manager is a null because this is coming from Spring context. This is coming from Spring context. But when you look at this code, I am not at all using any Spring context. This is just a normal Java code. I am initializing my product DAO. Then I am initializing my product service. The product service I am passing this product DAO. This product DAO 
using the entity manager, right? The entity manager is coming from uh, spring format, that is not available. That's the reason I am getting an alcohol exception. So, how to test this particular business service, uh, business implementation by fixing this error? Let's see now. Here I am calling the real product DOIM file. This real product DOIM file connecting the database. I, do, I don't want to connect that, okay? For that, we need to create one mock object. For that, we need to get one mock object. When you look at the test folder, there is a one class called mock product DOIMPL. Mock product DOIMPL. Let me open that class. This mock product DOIMPL implements product DAO. Implements product DAO. If you see the real product DAO IMPL, that class also implements product DAO. So, my real real class as well as a mock class implement the same interface. The mock product DAO IMPL are implementing that method which is defined in the product DAO. The same get product ID. Here I am creating some dummy products. I am creating some dummy products without connecting database. Without connecting database, I am populating a product object. I am setting some dummy value one coffee and description then 300. Finally, I am returning the product. In the test case, I am initial. I have to initialize that dummy project instead of real uh, real product DIY up here. Mock product DIY MPL. When you say like this, what will happen? This mock product DIY MPL reference assigned to my product DIY interface object. Product DIY interface object. Then I am passing this DIO in my service class. In my service class. When you go to the service class, now this product DIY contains my mock product DIY MPL class. Okay. So whenever you call product DIY dot get product by ID, it will call from this product by ID method. Okay. Whenever you call this method, what will happen? Since the product DAO contains a reference of mock product DAO IMPL, this will call this method call from here. This will call from here. Here I am not connecting with database, just creating a one dummy product with the proper values, with the proper values. So whenever I execute this code, what will happen? Product DAO contains my mock product DAO IMPL uh, interface uh, reference. Then I am passing that object to my product service the product service call this method from my mock mock product DIY MPL. so this particular method implementation does not have a db connection they just return a one product with a proper value now my responsibility to test this check this this product data is proper or not if it is proper i can say this test case is uh, pass okay now we will go to uh, test our scenario what is my intention to test I want to check this particular uh, business logic working or not, right? The mock uh, product DOI MPL, I am populating uh, 300 as a price, 300 as a price, okay? When you pass 300, we need to uh, calculate tax as well as a uh, total, pro total price of the product, okay? What is the tax amount uh, uh, for the 300? 300 into 10 divided by 100. So, 30 rupees a tax amount. Okay. 30 rupees a tax amount. I will going to check here. Assert assertion dot assert equals the expected value is 30. We have to check with actual values. Product dot get tax. Then total price, assertion dot asset equals, expected value must be 300 plus 30, right? 330. 330, expected must be 330. Then 330 with the product, sorry, product dot get total price. Now, I am going to test this method. Test case is passed now. Okay, see here test case is passed. 
So here I am initializing a product DAO IMPL. This product DAO IMPL reference assigned to my product DAO interface object. Then I am passing this object to uh, product service constructor. Uh, inside this product service constructor, uh, inside this uh, product service class, I am, I am calling this particular method. I am calling this particular method get product by ID. This product by ID calling product DAO dot get product by ID. This product DAO having a mock product DAO IMPL reference. So this method called from mock product IMPL. Here I am initializing on dummy product object. I am setting some proper value. Then I am checking um, that product object with the expected value. If that value is coming properly, that meaning this business logic implemented properly. So here I tested service class without connecting database. This is how we need to test all the scenario. This is just an example, right? In the real, in the real time, you will get a lot of stuff like this. For example, uh, um, uh, some scenario we need to connect email server, some scenario we need to connect messaging server, or some other uh, external uh, REST web services. Like that, we need to connect uh, um, any type of external services. When you do unit testing, we need to um, mock, we need to create our mock object equivalent to the particular external service. Particular external service through the mock object we have to test. Um, this is the style of testing 10 years back, but not now. Nowadays we have a market of framework, uh, power mock and WebMAC. Through the through those framework, we can create a mock object dynamically. We don't have to write, we don't have to write this kind of mock object. That is the advantage of Markito. If you are not using Markito, if you want to follow traditional approach, we need to write a, a lot of mock object. Through that mock object, we need to write our test cases. That is very tedious process and a time consuming task. Time consuming task. To eliminate this kind of uh, problems, we need to use Markito framework. Okay. But using Markito framework, we can easily mock object without writing any additional code. Okay. Um, from the next class onwards, we are going to see how to work with Markito. Then before that, we need to um, study one more topic, which is um, J unit association framework. We have a lot of association framework. Through the association framework, we can check the expected value or the action value. There are many association framework available. We need to uh, study about that. Then we will start learning market framework. Okay. Through this uh, example, right? Through this example, you understand that what is the real usage of uh, interface. This is the one of the interview question also. Huh? When you will go to interface? This kind of scenario we can use the interface. If you want to create some mock object, you can easily um, create a mock object using interface. Okay. Still not subscribe this channel? Please subscribe it. Share this video to your friend circle. Click bell icon for regular updates. Thanks for watching this full video.